Hello YouTubers, good to be back. Well, I got a new permission and I went straight out and detected it. Unfortunately, the first day got cut short by storms. So I've glued two videos together uh, so you can see two days of hunting. And I hope you'll agree that the find at the start of the second day was rather special. So here we go, hope you enjoy it. Let's get stuck in. Okay. Got a tube. Rolled up tube. Not what we're looking for, but a good bright target. Curled up piece. Oh, there's a lot of age to a lot of the stuff I'm picking up, but uh, no keepers yet. Oh, flatness. Button, I think. Tiny button. Yep. Tiny button. Loop back. A little old one. Oh, good. It's a sign of the kind of history we're trying to zero in on. Hmm. Okie cokey. From out of that hole down there came that there. And that looks to be a fired musket ball. Nice and round, super heavy, definitely lead, but with a nice flat edge. So, uh, yeah, I think that went splat against something or somebody. Ooh. Okay, that could be, and I'm no expert, but that could be a hobnail. And hobnails denote a lot of age. So, I'm going to stick with this little field, just going to see what the day brings up. Well, I think this really could be last chance saloon for today because those clouds up there are evil. And we are forecast storms. Ha. Right. What is that? Okay. We have an old artifact of some sort. It's an old handle. Yeah. Is that part of an ornate buckle? No, it's probably a handle. Yeah. Probably a little draw pull or something. But there's a bit of history to that. That's worth cleaning up and having a bit more of a look at. That's been around a while, that has. Huh. History is starting to come through. Patience and perseverance. Okay, folks, uh, storm stopped play uh, the other day, but I'm back out again, so I'm going to put these two videos together and make them into one. Um, unfinished business, really. Um, so it's tried to rain, but I'm going to wave my hands in the air like I just don't care, because I don't. Um, let's get stuck in. Must be a tiny target. I've had to... Oh, turn that on. I think I can see it. Yeah, it is a tiny target. Oh my word, what is that? Is that Roman with my first hole? That is Roman. That is a tiny little Roman coin. That was absolutely tiny. I just had to absolutely scratch around for that. Um, I had to break the sod. It was so small, I couldn't get the pinpoint to find it. And I found it now, and that is a tiny little Roman coin. What a lovely start to day two. That is absolutely fantastic. I'll put a still up for you, um, but yeah. That is a tiny Roman coin. Happy days. It's been another small one. Oh, tiny target. It's been another tiny Roman. I can't believe that. My first. I've got a worm here that's getting in my way. Excuse me, worm. What's that? Ah. 
Okay, well, we followed the Roman with a bit of tin. <laughs> Normal service has been resumed. Oh my days, we're at it again. I'm just not getting to move. I literally take a couple of steps and bang. An absolutely lovely, positive, bright target sings out at me. And there she is. And it's a big, thick something. Hey! <laughs> oh, not only have I got a Roman, but I've got something to spend on the way home. Oh, it's a pound coin. I don't get many pound coins, but uh, yeah, yeah, no complaints. Not after the way the day started. It was always going to be a little bit downhill after that, wasn't it? Unless I find another one, of course. That's quite unusual. That's the first one I've had today so far that's not been in the sod. Um, first one that's down there a bit. All the others have been in the first sort of six to eight inches, really. And that one could have stayed there. But, yeah. First time I've had to go hunting in the hole. Okay, um, not actually live digging or not filming all the digs all the time now in case I run out of battery I'm getting that many targets but uh, I think that's a buckle and that's got to be one of the tiniest little buckles I've ever seen. Um, no idea on the age but uh, that's old. Well, this one started out as a good signal and remains a very good signal. Very clean, cl clear and crisp. Could say it was a dream signal. Would it be a dream or a nightmare, kiddies? What do you think? Face your bets. I think it's small, whatever it is. No, it's not small. Oh, it's a huge lump of squashed up lead. There's some kind of wraparound thing going on there, isn't there? I'm blocked off at that end. Hooah! No wonder it gave a great signal. Lead does give a, live, give a lovely signal, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. What on earth? That's a clean up when I get home. Boom, boom. That's a big one. You wouldn't like that thing fired at you. Um, it's not perfectly round. You can actually see where it was nipped off. So it's a bit of an odd shape, so it probably would have flown quite weird, I would imagine. But yeah, that is a big old lump of lead turned into a ball of death. Fadoom. Whew, great signal turns into even better signal. Yes, I had a feeling it was going to be somewhere near the top. See, double ding dong went mad when I. Ah, oh, what a shame. Fair bit of lead in here, but I guess with the lead comes the history. Hobnails and lead and things like that. It's all signals. Okay, this is a lovely signal. But it's also a fantastic chance to show you just how beautiful and soft this earth is out here. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. The knife goes to butter. The knife goes to butter. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, absolutely banking signal, Sergeant Major, what? There's absolutely no shortage of stuff in these fields. All sorts as well, it's very interesting digging. You never know what you're going to get. And I'm probably making just slightly too deep of plugs. A lot of these signals but I always think if you take a decent bit out you've got a decent something to put back which ultimately I think is a good thing 
and it's lead quite a bit of lead in here good job it is lead because I speared that you clumsy oaf welcome back folks I think we have a very gotty tired old Roman it's thin it would have been quite a big one it's definitely something on there I think that needs to be washed when I get home I've sprayed it but it's it really is worn I don't think we're going to get anything off of it as such yeah it looks like little bits around the outside I'll bring it up to the camera but I mean you really can't get a lot out of that to be honest um, it's very worn but I'm pretty sure it was a Roman once back in its old life oh well they can't all be little beauties can they okay folks I'm losing the light probably doesn't look like it on there it never does um, but I am it's getting a bit dark just a little bit not too bad at the moment but uh, I think that's an old spindle wall it's very flat and very smooth so I think it's a very worn one but I can't really think what else it would be to be honest so you know looking at that I think it has to have been an old spindle wall it's definitely lead and it's the right shape so that's what I'm going for anyway answers on a postcard if you think any different nice at large facts <sighs> well I don't believe that I'm right back near the gate where I started and you might remember that my second or third signal I think it was about my third third or fourth signal was a pound coin and I finished the evening with another pound coin <laughs> um, I didn't even dig a hole for that I just cut a little surface uh, bit of American style coin shooting there in the first couple of inches yeah man wow some good potential on those fields and I can't wait to get back to them and when I do you'll be the first to see it so until the next time good luck happy hunting and I'll see you soon